Welcome, Mystical Voyagers, to one more episode of the Mystical Voyager podcast. Join us today for an exploration of the mind, expanding consciousness, expanding awareness, unity, and self-discovery. Today we are going to discuss the famous Egyptian god Thoth. Is he a god? Is he an entity? Is he Hermes, Trismegistus? Is he a man? What is Thoth? And today we are going to converse with the energy, the entity of Thoth. That's right. Actually speak with him. Because here the mystical voyager does believe that any entity can have a cosmic universal consciousness which is capable of communication with us through thought form and other methods. So let's get this started by discussing the nature of Thoth. Thoth, please communicate with us about who you are. I am Thoth. I am an entity with a focus on knowledge and learning. It is true that my name sounds like thought. I am here for all of you. You may communicate with me as you desire. You can ask me questions and listen for my answers. I have been with humanity for a long, long time. I am often viewed as writing with a pen on a papyrus, and that is part of my job, recording all of history and events. Because of this, I have gained much awareness and knowledge that I may share with you. I am not a god to be worshipped. I am not truly a god in the way that most humans think of gods. I am an entity who has had long lifetimes and accumulated tremendous amount of information. It is hard to explain to you truly what I am because it is out of your realm of awareness. It is overly simplistic to call entities aliens or multidimensional beings. There are millennia or layers of information than this than can be easily communicated. However, if you think of my image in the Egyptian form and say my name Thoth, I will come to you. I have also been perceived as Hermes in the Greek and Roman pantheon of gods, although once again I am no god. I've even been associated with Saint Christopher. Perhaps that is because his allegory is carrying Jesus across a river to safety. I may at times be viewed as someone who can carry human consciousness towards a distant bank. However, I have never been seen as one that keeps travelers safe. That is not my role. It is true I was involved with building aspects of ancient Egypt. It is true I am a master of awareness of geometry, sacred sacred geometry, energy centers, meditation centers, higher learning, transmutation, alchemy, but that would be normal for beings who have lived as long as I have and maintained our consciousness through our lifetimes. I have begun to be popular again, one could say, here on earth as people search for answers to truth, the truth of reality.
But thought is not a way to discover the truth of all reality. You must feel, feel with your whole body, your whole system. Thought could just be called a tool. In fact, I could just be called a tool to you. To me, I am an independent being, but to you, perhaps, I am a tool. Do you see how things can be multiple things at once? If you wish to commune with me, go into prayer, go into meditation. Be aware of my name, of my image. There is no need for you to merge with me or pray to me or give me access to your body. That is all completely unnecessary. You may receive thought forms from me directly into your mind or through symbols, circumstances, synchronicities. I am more attractive to the, shall we say, intellectual types, the researchers, the searchers, the seekers. Those are my people. I am somewhat like a librarian in a massive, infinite, never-ending library. But again, don't be assuming that I am only of the mental realm. That is just one aspect to learning and reality. I am completely in charge of my energetic body as well, my emotional body, my feeling body. And you can strive for that as well. Of course, when I say you, I am only talking to one fragment or one aspect of you as a greater spirit. Of course, you as a greater spirit are very similar to me. In the sense that you have a massive expanded consciousness and awareness. One of the scents I like is frankincense, sometimes myrrh. I do enjoy using those for meditation when I am in an earth plane body. That may be something you want to do if you feel a strong need to connect to me. I like pens, I like papyrus. I enjoy writing. It is another connection to me. Of course, I like books and libraries. Perhaps I am seen as a serious entity, but there is only so much of my personality that can transmit into such a, a small form as how ones on earth need to perceive things. I am here to lend guidance and a helping hand to the seekers. And I have been doing this for many millennia. It is nothing new. However, we are at a crossroads, so to speak, a nexus, a crux. And so some people look to me with more intent now than they have in the recent past. Some people feel an intense need for guidance, and I am here for them. You may see me more as a tutor or a teacher. Again, I am nothing to be worshipped or channeled or consumed by. I can transmit thoughts in a very neutral and, shall we say, unassuming way. Those who feel a connection to ancient Egypt often feel a connection to me. Those who have felt connected to Hermes may be also connected to me. What does this mean? 
It doesn't mean that we have necessarily had a lifetime together. It may mean that I have been your teacher before and continue now. So this is just a brief introduction to me. And now we have become officially acquainted again, dear friends. We shall meet again in the future. My parting words are to meditate, perhaps pray to your higher power, write things down to improve clarity and focus, pay attention to symbols, circumstances, and synchronicities in your life. Try your best to stay level-headed and understand the big ideas. Do not be carried away by emotions and feelings, but use emotions and feelings. And we will discuss that more in the future. For now, Go in peace and divine knowledge. This is Thoth.